I want to show you a tweet here uh, that went viral. This absolutely ripped my heart out. Maria Kramer said, Awful scene on the orange line. A woman's leg got stuck in the gap between the train and the platform. It was twisted and bloody. Skin came off. She's in agony and weeping. Just as upsetting, she begged no one call an ambulance. Quote, It's $3,000, she wailed. I can't afford that. Another uh, bystander told CNN, quote, She made it a point to say, You don't understand. I have terrible insurance. If you show this story to somebody living in Canada or Australia or the UK or any other developed country, I mean, they look in shock. I mean, we're disgusted by this, but we're also not shocked by it if you're in the US. They look in shock. Because this is like when you're creating a government and you're creating a civilized society, you're going to prioritize. Hey, what are we going to spend our tax money on? You know, we're going to have taxes because every developed uh, country, every modern government has taxes. The question is just how much in taxes uh, are you paying? Like what, what are the lines? What are the rates? But there's going to be taxes. So, okay. What are we going to prioritize here? Give me the list of like the top 10 things we're going to take this money and spend it on. You know, and you, you knock off the easy ones right away. Police, fire department, uh, infrastructure, whatever. You can go down the list. But when does healthcare come up? I would argue that's definitely in the top 10. But in the U.S., we don't do that. We have a private system. And it is a price-gouging, life-ruining machine. I mean, we talk about this every day, but medical bills is one of the top causes of bankruptcy in the U.S. Medical bills. People in other developed countries have a hard time wrapping their mind around that. Like, how can we allow people to go bankrupt because they got hurt? That's a wild concept, man. We have, what, around 30 million, maybe more people who don't have health insurance? And remember, this is after the health care reform that we had with Obamacare. It turns out when you do a right-wing half measure, which is what that is, in the long run, it doesn't turn out to be so good. It just turns out to be, um, you know, a Band-Aid over a gaping, gangrenous wound, which is our health care system. So we know the answer, and it's all about priority. Don't tell me we can't do it. It's all about priorities, moral priorities. It just turns out that today in the U.S., because our government is captured by corporations, we value corporate welfare and we value an endless war a hell of a lot more than we value health care for our citizens. Now, that the good news is that's not written in the laws of nature and it's not impossible to change that. It is very changeable, but it requires uh, popular movements, grassroots pressure, and... Not taking no for an answer. And this really should be one of our top priorities, man. I mean, it is beyond wild that we live in a country that can give um, trillions of dollars to Wall Street in the form of a bailout after they fucked up and crashed the economy and bankrupted their own companies. We give them trillions of dollars, but oh my goodness, give people health care, fuck off, get out of here. And I've given you the numbers before. If we keep our private system intact over the next decade, it'll cost $49 trillion. If we scrap that and do a Medicare for All system over the next decade, it'll cost $32 trillion. We would save $17 trillion, cover everybody, and get better health outcomes if we do Medicare for All. But here we are, and I'm, I'm covering stories of a woman who doesn't want to go to the hospital when she damn near got her leg ripped off. Because of the cost, because of the price. That's not a decision anybody should have to make, man. It really isn't. I think everybody who you talk to has one fucked up story or another about healthcare in this country. You know, I certainly do. How many times have I had issues with, oh, it's on auto pay, but you didn't pay at the right time. Or, oh, it's on auto pay, but you, over, you withdrew too much money and I had a lapse in my insurance. And what happened if I had a huge problem during that lapse in my insurance? I would have went to the hospital. And depending on how serious the problem was, you could easily, easily go bankrupt over that. Everybody's got a fucking nightmare story. 
we don't have to just accept this. We can fight back. We can change it. We can make the system better. We can fix the system. We can give people health care as a right. If every other developed country can do it, we can do it. It's just a matter of priority. So we just have to force our corporate politicians to get on the page or else.